Hey, go over here. The 1.3 livestream revealed details and snippets of Deya's kit. Uh, sorry, uh, Fushuan's kit. So she's a quantum preservation unit and our first of this combo. She will also be our very first limited preservation and she definitely feels like one from her kit. The main competition will be Japard, but her kit offers a new preservation archetype that sounds pretty insane. So let's see what was revealed and discuss her kit and how strong it sounds. We'll discuss builds and Lycones too, as well as team comps. Her numbers, Adelons and full kit aren't released just yet, but we have the stream to save her for a month before her release. I will of course be doing a full guide on her as she releases, so subscribe if you want to wait for that. So her identity as a preservation unit is not about shielding. She has no shields at all. Maybe in her Eidolons, but we don't know them yet. Now having no shields sounds a bit weird, but her kit provides a new form of damage mitigation for your team. Instead of relying on shields uptime and durability, Fushuan takes matters into her own hands by applying massive damage reduction and by redirecting damage to herself. She also heals herself up when she gets too low and provides buffs and honestly probably nice damage. Her skill will activate a matrix and she will take a percentage of allies damage taken and redirect it to herself. Since damage taken should be then multiplied by her defense and damage reduction, having those two stats in surplus will help her not die from giant AoE attacks. If a boss does 2k damage to all allies, your Fushuan may just die without damage reduction and defense. So I'm hoping the damage is calculated through her resistance modifiers, it would make the most sense. This matrix also buffs team stats, max HP and crit rate. Max HP being buffed is awesome, we don't have many max HP buffs, uh, it could be awesome for example for Blade, but he won't be taking as much aggro with Fushuan and the damage reduction may hurt his ult damage output. Having harmony buffs on a preservation unit is a good way to keep them relevant. So her talent will apply team-wide damage reduction. This is very strong to have. It should also affect her since it's for the entire team, so this goes hand in hand with her team damage redirecting and will let her survive big bursts. The talent also helps her out when she does take these big amounts of damage. When she drops a low HP, she will restore her HP by basically 100% it looks like. So what this means is she can redirect damage whilst mitigating it for allies on top and for herself and then heal it all back up when she takes too much. This sounds so cool and makes teams a little riskier, the trade off of buffs and maybe some nice preservation damage. So on that note, what relics do we think? Well funnily enough, the Quantum set has always been paired with an underused and underrated set, the Wuthering of Snow set. This set coincidentally is good on Fushuan. It provides damage reduction, which has always been nice for a two-piece for weak allies. Slapping this on Fushuan will probably work. A two-piece option can of course be the HP two-piece from Longevous Disciple, or for the pure unhinged Fushuan enjoyers, Quantum set DPS Fushuan may be fun as hell. If she can still sustain well enough and forego stats for crit, just like your Watcher, then this could be awesome. The plain ornaments fleet sounds the most likely due to the HP scaling. Broken Kill will also still be useful to provide now crit rate and crit damage to the whole team. Fleet providing 10% is of course always great too. But maybe instead of going for crit rate and crit damage, we'll start seeing some break effect fush ones too. Time will tell. Stats you'll probably want to go HP percent, speed boots, HP percent orb, and probably energy rope. Sports generally just go NG Rope and Fushuan will be wanting to ult in order to gain more talent activations. If you go crit, good luck soldiers and break would be hard to pull off unless our NG needs are fine. But like owns the happiest days come for me where I was waiting for a unit that could utilize textual memories. The base HP being high is awesome, the effect resistance can work towards broken kill or just be a nice bonus and the free shield that scales on her main scaling stat is perfect. Other preservation scaled on defense percent and so this shield was whatever. Finally, it gives a giant amount of damage reduction when she is shielded, and the shield has great uptime. We will have to test in game, but this should be her best in slot outside of her signature. So we first have on the fall of a neon being excellent for Dan Hung, and texture of memories being excellent for Fu Xuan. It feels like her to light cones are just really nice to have. She does have a similar problem to Blade where we don't have many light cone options for her because she doesn't scale on defense. But texture of memories is free, and Lando's choice will probably also be excellent for her with the aggro increase and the damage reduction again. For team compositions we have of course the ultimate hype team everyone is banking on and that is Mono Quantum. I think it will be excellent and since Fushuan should easily solo sustain, you Mono Quantum enjoyers should be happy. You can always wait for tests on release of course. Other team comps will just be her plop down as a solo sustain, we'll see if her buffs complement Blade enough or maybe we'll just end up using links. Let me know below if you're pulling for her and what you plan to run on her and who with her. Thanks to all my members, thanks for watching and have a good day.